let's go ahead and add a little styling information. So I'm going to go to the head of the document. And we'll say that the table is going to be 100% wide. And it's going to have a border 1px solid black. And let's go border dash spacing is 0px. And then for the cells and headers, we're going to go border 1px solid black and text align center. And then let's also add a style for h1 text align center. And that should be it for now. So let's go ahead and reload. Great. So I'm going to add some more fields here in my output. Um, so there are a couple things I want to do. First, I want to um, sum all of these values. So I have a total number of names in the population. And then I want to use that to calculate a percentage. So what percentage of babies had the name Lisa? versus Mary and so on. So let's go ahead and create a total here first. So dollar sign total is equal to array sum and then I'm going to grab array column of names and I want the count field. So this is the same thing I did last week when I created a total. And then I'm going to output that as the last column. So I want it to be a percentage. So let's go ahead and calculate that percentage after the count field. So dollar sign percent is equal to dollar sign name, so dollar sign I of count field divided by total and then I want to multiply by a hundred to come up with percent and then I'm going to add a line to output that value so let's format this to four decimal points using number format. And we'll go ahead and add a percent sign here as well. And reload. Great. So 1%, a little of above 1% for Lisa and for Mary all the way down to very small numbers for these people. And then I have the females at the top and the males at the bottom. So let's go ahead and filter for gender as well. And I'm going to add that part here where I'm reading the file. So instead of just adding all the lines to names, I'm only going to add the right gender lines to names. The reason is because when I do this total here, I only want to add the counts for males or the counts for females, depending on which one I'm using. So let's filter these. If dollar sign line sub gender field, is equal equal dollar sign gender then I'm going to go ahead and add the line so now if I reload I should just get the males here 
Oh, I didn't get anything at all. So let's go ahead and put a breakpoint and see what we get. Enable debugging. And gender is M. Line is this thing here. So this is a capital F, and I have a lowercase f here. So let's go ahead and continue. And I'm going to fix that. So this is an advantage of having constants, is I just have to change it in one place, and now it should work. So I should get a complaint that this isn't an M. So let me fix my error message as well. Right, and then let's make this an M. Fantastic. So there's all the males with the right percentages. And then if I change that to F, there's all the females with the right percentages. So let's view our source and make sure it's formatted correctly. There's a lot of data here, so. So the style looks okay, table looks okay, it's just a lot of data, but it's properly formatted so that anybody who looks at our HTML is going to be able to make sense of it, which is good. Now let's try just the top 10 names instead of all. So top 10 female names from 62. And let's go ahead and add a rank as well. So let's add a rank column. And the rank is just going to be dollar sign i plus 1. Because i goes from 0 up to count, this is going to go from 1 up to count. There. 